We decided to leave them a little gift at our guest house. Yeah, called that uh, Oro-san. Oro-san. Or Omiyage is my super Oh, right, they're the mean now. It's probably mean. We have our stuff on, backpacks, luggage. We're heading to the station to go to Osaka, New City. in Osaka just dropped our bags off at the hotel and we went out to explore and we got literally five feet from the hotel the hotel before we found a vending machine that Danny wants to buy something like that so what I do you can't think? decide I've got Jutor which is like a brand that's everywhere and I've got fire fire has a cooler can fire yeah no. cold. it's cold is that what you wanted that would be interesting I thought fire would be hot <laughs> So no. <laughs> that it? Mm. It's not bad. It's not bad. What's it like? Um, uh, there's definitely sugar added to it. That's fine. It's like iced coffee. Oh, it's a coffee? Mm. I thought it was an energy drink. No, it's coffee. I'm happy with my fire. <laughs> it's cold. It's cold. Why would you name an iced coffee fire? Cold fire. So now we're just heading to the main town area to explore um, because it's a bit busy so we're gonna save all the main tourist attractions for tomorrow and hopefully beat the crowds but probably not. We made it to the main shopping district and Osaka is crazy there's so many people and this it's like being in Vegas like look this isn't even the busy section trying to find some vegetarian food is a struggle but we've got some more pancakes so we're gonna eat those It's crazy. So we managed to find a restaurant and we've just come inside. And it's okonomiyaki, which is like the signature dish for Osaka. And we sat at this table and it has like a built in that stove. You can cook your own okonomiyaki and eat it as you go. And we did that and we got, was it yakisoba? Yakisoba noodles as well to go with it. So I don't know, we're gonna be like the biggest noobs trying to cook this, but I don't know. And we got some sake and I got some coke because I'm boring. <laughs> I'm not taking a shot. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to do it, but yeah. I like vodka. Cook that That's wow. Nice. I'm just cutting it like a pizza. Yeah, that's because I would have done the same. I don't know. Should I do a cake too? No, thank you. Gotta pick it up. Yeah. It's tasty. 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 Omenopi Aki should be on your list to try because it's amazing. It's like Japanese pizza. So tasty. So now we're going to go outside and just explore the craziness that is Osaka. the main Namba district in Osaka. It's like the happening place. It's, that's why it reminds me of Vegas. There's just lights and stuff everywhere. There's lots of food options, lots of restaurants and lots of um, drug stores like yeah like medicine makeup stores. I'm not sure why there's that many but 
day. It's ridiculous. Lots of good souvenir shopping, so it's a good place to just hang out, shop, and eat. My two favorite things. Yeah, it's now four o'clock or four thirty. So much quieter. I didn't film earlier because it was so busy that like it was like a mosh pit. At two o'clock. <laughs> Crazy. Don't know why two o'clock. But now it's nicer because it's all lit up. Mm. Saka famous, this is the Instagram spot. They have this canal running through the middle, surrounded by all the lights reflecting, and they have their uh, mascot, which is the running man, up on a billboard behind you. So Namba district, crazy. <laughs> Namba district at night, which is good to travel in winter because it uh, lights up earlier because the sun goes down faster, so you don't have to be out till midnight trying to catch all the lights, which is really good. But it's too wild for me, so I'm going to be a grandma and we're heading back to the room. <laughs> well, we are trying to get to the circle castle first thing in the morning. Yeah. This is not a bad idea. Not we a wild one. Today. So it is our last morning at Osaka um, and so we've head to the castle so that we can try and beat the crowds like always but today it may have actually worked there's not too many people around. Just some runners. Um, this morning Daniel spent all morning sitting there learning about the history so I'm going to cut to him telling you all about it because I don't know anything. Yep. So we are at Osaka Castle which has a long um, violent history so I don't know their names exactly so I'm going to use nicknames. So. The first guy, Toshi, he built the castle, he built the inner gates um, and there was a rival clan that um, wanted to basically take over the castle. Um, they failed once, they had a second attempt that failed as well and then the castle was passed on to the son when the father passed away, the son and the creator's wife. The rival clan attacked again and they took claim to the castle and that caused the son and the wife to commit suicide. I think their graves are inside. Later on, um, it suffered fire, it suffered bombing during World War II, um, and it only finally finished reconstruction in 1997, so just 20 years ago. Um, this one is more different to the other ones we've been to because it does, like I know it was only built like 22, finished being built 22 years ago. Oh my gosh, about to Yeah, the, the refurbishment. But it does have more gold, other than the gold and I haven't seen that too much. And I haven't seen much green, it's normally like red or like black. 600 yen to get inside, so we're gonna get some tickets and then go inside and explore.
So you can come all the way to the top, so you catch the elevator up, and then there's two exhibitions, and then you come out to this platform, which is a viewing platform, and it really shows you how big Osaka is, and how much more built up it is. This feels like a metropolitan city, which I know it is, but I, I don't know, I wasn't expecting it to be like New York. This feels bigger than Sydney. Japan, second biggest city. Oh, oh is by it? Population, yeah. By population, well, that makes sense. I just was expecting it to be smaller than Kyoto for some reason. So the good thing with this view is that you can see the moat all around and you can see all the decorations. So the roof is green because it's in the bar. That's why we haven't seen any. That's why we haven't seen any because most of it is what that dragonfish is, which is uh, gold foil with lacquer. Well, this makes a lot of sense because a lot of um, George Lucas' inspiration with Star Wars is from Japanese samurai culture. I knew this would come back to Star Wars eventually. No, but you can see it in this story. So it was a young guy who was basically like a wanderer, but he got adopted um, and then he got trained up by. Jedi Knight. A bit like Star Wars. <laughs> Everything can go back to Star Wars. So, finishing the museum, um, it was the most conventional attraction that we've been to so far. So. You pay, you have your museum for like five floors and then there's a view at the top. Um, but it has a long, rich history, which I feel like we haven't gotten a lot of history at a lot of the other attractions. So we found about the guy who built it, his life, his kind of descent into madness. It was very educational and definitely worth doing if you're in Osaka because there's not a lot of historical things in Osaka. It's like, yeah, the Namba district, which is like crazy, not like historic. Um, well, when you're coming from Kyoto, where everything is historic. so. Good to check it out. So we're now walking back to our hotel, checking out and heading down to Hiroshima. Here we come, Hiroshima. Hey, it's Vet from the future. Just wanted to drop in at the end of this video just to let you know that I have just launched my first blog, website, whatever, hub for everything for me. So click the link in the description. If I can put a link in the cards, I will. I don't know how skilled I am. Go over, check it out, let me know. I've spent so long um, putting this together. I got it designed and I'm slowly going through and putting in all this information um, in regards to my current travels. So China and Japan, which is this series, and then also um, going back and getting all of these places, everything I know about all of those um, on the blog. So. I get a lot of questions constantly about um, what things to do, best times to go, my experiences of certain things. So I thought I was just going to put blog posts up of each of these things um, and then that way I can link them out if anyone gives, has any questions. You, have, you can go and find it for yourself or you can still ask me. Go over, check it out, let me know. Bye. Back to the video.